Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the WT Coaches Show. I'm your host, Kelton Weens, and I'm here with Lady Buff Volleyball Assistant Head Coach, Keith Barnett. Now, Coach, you had a good win on Tuesday night against New Mexico Highlands. Give us your thought about that game. Uh, it went pretty well. Uh, you know, we're happy to get out of there 3-0. Uh, third set was a little sketchy uh, in terms of how our, how our team reacted to having some new personnel in. Uh, so we, we were a little, um, a little disappointed in that in terms of, uh, you know, the results, but the, the end was, a, you know, 3-0 sweep. So we'll take it. Uh, you know, New Mexico Highlands did some things really well. They hit the ball very heavy at times. Uh, they have some really big, strong girls. And then they also mixed in some shots, so they were uh, unpredictable, and, and they never gave up. So it's a credit to their coaching. Now, Coach, you have two wins already in conference play against Midwestern and A&M Kingsville. How is the rest of the Lone Star Conference shaping up in your mind? Uh, I mean, it's, it's looking pretty tough. Angelo's good. Texas women's is good. I know uh, Tarleton's been up and down. You know, they, they went, I think, five with Washburn, and then uh, who's number 11 in the nation at the time, and then they, they go down 3-1 uh, to some other teams, you know, which is, which is kind of strange, considering if you can go five with Washburn, you should you know, handle your business against other teams. But, um, again, it's uh, this this. This preseason being as short as it was this year, uh, I think is, is going to make for some more um, uh, unpredictability in uh, how teams perform each week. Now, Coach, uh, you came from UC Colorado Springs. This is your first year in Canyon. How are you adjusting to uh, the LSC as well as WT Volleyball? Uh, I, I mean, the Lone Star Conference, the travel's a little tougher from here, from where we are, from where I was. Uh, you know, we were centrally located. Uh, but as far as the, the volleyball level, it's, it's right on par with, uh, with the RMAC. Um, arguably, you know, last year since they finished 1-2 in the regionals, uh, you know, it's obviously uh, possibly better than the RMAC. But that's all, you know, you, you don't know year to year as to how it works out. So it's, it's good. And as far as, you know, Canyon from Colorado Springs, Canyon's a little smaller. You know, it's, it's uh, 10, 15,000 people, and I came from half a million. So it's... Uh, it's an adjustment, but um, you know I, I love it. The fall's beautiful right now, so uh, we'll see when the wind picks up in February. Now, Coach, final question. You've got two road matches this weekend against Arkansas, Fort Smith, and St. Mary's. Give us your preview on those. Uh, Fort Smith is tough. They've got uh, nine transfers, if, it, if we're looking at their roster, and you know whether JUCO or otherwise, and they've got three foreigners mixed in there as well. Uh, so that's just a lot of experience, uh, and that's going to that's gonna be trouble for anybody who plays them. I know they went five with Texas women's. They went five with... Um, Angelo and uh, both of those were uh, tough matches so we're expecting the same and uh, you know we just hope we can come away with a win and then St. Mary's I haven't gotten a chance to look at it just yet you know Arkansas Fort Smith is first uh, but I'm sure they're going to be tough as well they're playing at home so and we're going to be on the road having just played a, a really good team the night before so hopefully. well coach thanks for your time today and good luck this week no thank you Kelvin Stay tuned to the WT Sports Network for more Lady Buff Volleyball information. For the WT Sports Network and Coach Barnett, I'm Kelton Weens.